Hmm? You want to play with it still? Hmm? <laughs> got a couple quick spots there. You got a couple quick spots there. <laughs> They're getting playful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's biting. She's attacking my hand. <laughs> look at look at him. <laughs> we got another contender. Oh, we got another contender. Oh, two. <laughs> look at Delilah. Like, what are you? Okay, I don't want. Don't just sit your butt on my finger. Come on. <laughs> Look at these two. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Ah. She's a biting. She's she feisty. She feisty, all right. Look at her. She's biting. And she's continuing to bite. And she's continuing to bite. And she's continuing to bite. <laughs> no, I'm just not her chew thing. Wow. Look who I got. Look who I got. And back down you go. <laughs> you got one. This is different. This is different. Let's help you up on there. Mm, this one's this one's getting the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> what about the two goofballs over here? What about this goofball? No. Oh. Good morning, guys. Well, I realized that I never put Spyro on my vlogs lately. Well, here she is. She's still here. I just don't really vlog her because she always only wants out of her enclosure in the morning. And I don't really vlog in the morning because I kind of just let her out while I'm still waking up. But she's here. I'm just going to film her now because I'm not ready to film myself. But yeah, today we are taking... Oh, she doesn't want... She doesn't want pet anymore. She just wants to run around and be left alone. Is anyone else's lizard like this? How do I make her be more affectionate with me? But yeah, today I'm taking Lena to the vet. Nothing's wrong with her. She is just having her yearly exam, which I used to never do. But as I've gotten older, I've started to treat my pets more and more like my actual children. I don't even go to yearly checkups myself, just to be sure. Just to make sure nothing's going on that I may not notice. Hey, Spyro. Oh, she gave me a kissy. I made deviled eggs, which is actually one of my favorite foods of all time, but I've never actually made before. Well, no, I take that back. I did used to make deviled eggs. Well, I used to help my mom make deviled eggs as a kid, but never by myself. These two came out a little special because they kind of broke while I was peeling them, but that's okay. We still love them. All right, squirrels, I am ready to start filming myself now. Yeah, here's my sad attempt at hair. Um, yeah, I tried to curl it. It didn't want to curl again. Not even this side. Usually this side's the one that doesn't want to curl. Now, neither of them want to curl. I don't understand it. So I just, you know, tasted it out a little bit, gave it a little body, and whatever. It looks bad. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to be rich enough to have a personal cosmetologist to do my hair every single day because whenever I go get my hair done and somebody else curls it, it curls absolutely fine. But every time I try to curl it, it doesn't curl. And then I start getting stressed and then I start getting sweaty and then I just have to stop and say, fuck it, I'll just have my hair look bad today as every other day. Oh my gosh, it, it, it stresses me out so much. I don't know how some girls do it like 
naturally. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe tomorrow I'll get ready early and I'll go to like great clips and just say, please curl my hair. Um, <laughs> which is kind of sad and pathetic, uh, but I want to look nice for the concert tomorrow, today. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care anymore. Let's just go. Oh, somebody's a little nervous for the vet. It's okay, leanies. Here, let me give you a treat. No, 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 no. Stay in there. Here, here, take the treat. I'll just drop it in there. My vet's office is so cute. They put all of their patient's name on this chalkboard. I think they're a little behind though because I don't see them. Yeah. All right, we are out of the vet. Lena did well. She's a little bit grumpy. She doesn't really like the fact that there's so many other pets there. But there's nothing wrong with her. She did, however, need her vaccines updated, which I completely forgot about. It's just another reason why it's good to go to annual exams for your pets because they will remind you if you need anything and they can just do it there. No need to make another appointment, at least at my vet. I get a stand for animals and I really love them. Well, I am just giving her her lickable treat that I brought along to make her feel better because poor baby had to get some shots. She had to go for a car ride. She had to be in the vet around other pets. That's just a lot, huh? Yeah. You know, I think she's a little tired because of the vaccine. She usually goes absolutely insane on these things, but not today. So I'm gonna go pick up some takeout real quick. I would love to actually dine in somewhere, but I don't want to do that to her. I want to get her home. Got tacos from Cabo's, which is in Noda, my favorite part of Charlotte. I would love to walk around, but once again, I got a baby in the car, but I've been wanting to try Cabo's for a long time now. I've heard they're very good. Well, we're home. Miss Lena did really good on the ride home. Yeah, you barely made a peep on the ride home, right, Lena? Yeah. Well, now you're talking now that we're home. I don't know if it was the vaccine making her tired, but honestly, this is pretty typical for her. Obviously, I've had to take her on long drives before when we, whenever we moved here. And she usually freaks out whenever she's first in the car for the first like 10 minutes or so. And then she's like, okay, whatever. And then she just settles down. She actually does pretty well with trips. She gets confused at first. And then she's like, oh, okay, I get it now. Thai sweet chili tofu tacos with a side of Avocado pasta salad looks mwah, delectable. Thank you. Okay. I'm so gross. That tastes like Chinese food. Taco's good. I feel like it could mm -hmm. use a little bit more sauce though. As for this pasta salad, it's good, but I add hot sauce to it because I'm the devil. I made it better. What can I say? Were you saying mama? No. As soon as I put him in there, he went, yeah, yeah, doy, mommy. <laughs> I doubt he was actually trying to say it. Dada is all he says. Me and this child are beefing right now. Because he says dada like 200 times a day and he will not say mama. I do everything for you. And I was the one who carried you. Your dad didn't do that for you. I burnt you out of my body. Your dad didn't do that for you. I went through so much for you. And all you want to say is dada? How about mama? Hey. He won't even look at me. He's glued on his dad. Hey, hey, excuse me. I exist. I exist. I matter. I'm a person too. <laughs> mama. Hey, mama. Oh my. Well, it is the next day. I did my own hair. I was really considering going to Great Clips and having them do it, but I was like, no, I know this is frustrating, but every time you learn something new, it's gonna be frustrating. I have quit things in the past because I got too frustrated and couldn't stick with it and I'm not gonna do it anymore. I've also kept with things after getting frustrated with it. Like for instance, editing. When I edited my first video, I almost gave up on it because I couldn't figure it out. But I was like, no, I already filmed this. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna do this. I'm not scrapping the video footage and I did it. And a thing that I think really stresses me out is I tend to put things off to the last minute to get ready so I don't have time to make it look nice. So I started really early and I really took my time with it. I meditated beforehand, which I'm trying to do more. I'm bad at it because I have ADHD, but 
I did it. I think this is the best I've done yet. I tried pulling it up and doing layers instead, which thankfully my hair isn't too thick, so I can. I only had to do two layers, and yeah, it turned out good. Hey, what can you do? Plus, I'm thinking about drinking a little bit, get a little tipsy. This is why, which was born out of like living through, you know, a global pandemic, as you all might know, and um, also just struggling with the tension of realizing that everybody has a capacity to be like shitty and also really good. So it's a really important record for us, needless to say, and one that we've learned a lot from already. And we're gonna play a song from it that's not quite so heavy right now. It's just literally about how I can never be on time to anything. Ever, ever. those things and then it's just fully embarrassing. 
Yeah, okay, thank you for sharing in that total shame that I feel. And I'm gonna tell you that it doesn't matter how many times you've loved before and lost before and how embarrassing it might have been or just shitty, how hurt you might have felt or whatever. Just keep going, baby. Just keep doing it. They're back there and you're going this way. Well, I made it home, guys. Oh. What a fantastic night. I didn't film really after the concert because I was still fucking drunky poo. So I ended up going to a 24 hour diner nearby. It was kind of like Awful House, but better. And I didn't film there because I was on FaceTime with Gary the whole time because I just felt weird walking around in the middle of the night alone. And then I felt weird being at the diner alone. See, so yeah, I was on FaceTime with him the whole time. He was showing me the kittens on FaceTime. And now I'm looking at them right now in person. They're so cute. But yeah, there was this guy who walked up to me. And he was really fucking awkward. He was like talking to me and shit. And he was asking me about me. And girl, I tell you, I gave him nothing. I asked him nothing. I was like, you know, <laughs> I, I made it clear that I had a boyfriend too. I was, I was on FaceTime with Gary the whole time so I had him say hi to him <laughs> and then he just walked off that was while I was in line getting into the diner yes there was a line to get into the diner but while I was in the diner he just he randomly walked in he came up to me tapped my shoulder he was like boo didn't scare me and then um he just asked me like what I had to eat and I told him and then he just sat there for a minute and then he left but yeah, that was weird. Honestly, I didn't even want to go to the diner, but like, as I said, I was still drunky poo and I may be a goofball and shit and spend way too much money at concerts. But one thing that this goofball doesn't do is drunk drive. So I had to sober up. But yeah, speaking of spending way too much money on concerts, I got swindled into buying this dumb ass shit stupid ass dumb ass red shirt for $60 and it's absolutely not worth it I got swindled into this it's not like they were trying to swindle me but I was just like waiting in line and I didn't I couldn't see the shirts I couldn't see the merch and when I got up to the front of the line I realized I didn't like any of them so I was just thinking you know what maybe they'll have like a pin set or a sticker set that I could buy. Uh, but yeah, they did have those, but they were sold out of them. So I just felt awkward and I bought the one that I liked the most out of all the ones that I didn't even like. Uh, Cause yeah, I felt like I had to buy something uh, since I waited in line for that long. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's okay. You know what? We'll make it look better. We'll uh, turn it into a crop top we're going to acid wash this and we're going to like cut off and tie the sides is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe we'll even add some more text. Like maybe we'll put like this is why. Give it a little bit more because this, this is fucking boring right now. I cannot believe that I actually spent money, that much money on this. I'm so fucking stupid! Anyway, I was a little bit nervous beforehand because it's the first time that I've been... To a concert by myself in a long time. Gary couldn't go because no one was there to watch Atreus, but he didn't really mind. He doesn't really listen to Paramore anyway. I kind of force him to listen to Paramore because in this house we listen to Paramore, but he's not really huge on them. It's <laughs> if I didn't force him to listen to them, he wouldn't. I've done it before several times, typically smaller concerts. I like going to smaller concerts by myself anyhow because Whenever I get in the pit, I get lost from my friends anyhow. I've been to one stadium concert by myself before, but that was like a radio thing with a bunch of different bands playing. But it was really fun. It's, it's really fun to get drunk alone and just rock the fuck out. You know, I was in my element, you know? And once the, the music starts playing and you start dancing, you honestly don't even think about who you're with or who you're not with. So... If you want to go to a concert and you can't find anyone to go with, I absolutely recommend just going alone. It's fucking worth it, okay? You don't want to miss out. I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go and I'm going to end this vlog here. 
I love you guys and subscribe for more kitten stuff. I know this wasn't heavy on the kitten stuff this vlog, but I just had a lot going on this past few days and I just wanted to bring you guys along because my life isn't usually this eventful. But all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Well, it's happening. They are learning how to crawl out of their tub on their own. I just didn't expect the littlest one to be the first one. She's got places to be. She don't got time for nobody. Oh, and now she's teaching the others how to get out too. You're a troublemaker, aren't you? You're a troublemaker. Well, we have entered a new era.